The USS Stewart DE-238 is a Navy Edsall class destroyer escort. The ship was named for Rear Admiral Charles Stewart, who commanded the USS Constitution during the War of 1812. Stewart is one of only two preserved destroyer escorts in the United States and is also the only Edsall class vessel to be preserved. She is on display in Galveston, Texas as a museum ship and is open to the public. At the ladder leading up to the deck of USS Stewart are two bronze, 56-inch ship propellers. Each weighs over a ton and was powered by two diesel engines. That means the Stewart had up to 6,000 horsepower available to drive it up to 21 knots, or about 24 miles per hour. Behind the propellers are two by three inch, 50 caliber memorial guns donated from the USS Texas. The Stewart had three more of these guns on board. Quarter deck, it is customary that when you are in uniform and boarding any ship where the flag is flying, you halt at the gangway, face aft and salute the flag. You then turn to the officer of the day and salute saying, request permission to come aboard, sir. The officer of the day will return your salute and say, come aboard. Over the years, a lack of maintenance, the elements, and vandalism had left Stewart and Kavala in extremely poor material condition with corrosion and missing equipment in 1996, the U.S. Navy was considering reclaiming Stewart and placing her in the care of the Carnegie Institute with the intention of moving the ship to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In October 1998 the Galveston Parks Board announced its intention to scrap both vessels, and turn Seawolf Park into an RV park. After a protracted public battle, the Parks Board allowed the Kavala Historical Foundation to raise funds for the restoration and preservation of the vessels. The gun deck and much of the ship's anti-aircraft weaponry was located on this deck. All the way aft, were the 40mm guns, amidships were the 20mm anti-aircraft guns. The interior includes the ship's office, the captain's cabin and the radio room. The captain's cabin was an ideal location for him to quickly receive messages from the ship's office or radio room, as well as be close enough to get to the bridge and pilot house within seconds.